If you clicked on this video, then you probably know what Upwork is and you're really checking to see if Upwork is a platform that you need to be on. I have been freelancing since 2015 and I do not like Upwork. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why I don't like the platform and what else you can do as a newbie freelancer to get clients. If this is our first meeting, first of all, I just want to say you're welcome. My name is Jean Entra. I am the author of Win at Freelance Writing, a guide on how to make your first one to five thousand dollars as a freelance writer. You can check out the link in the description. So let's jump right into the topic. But perhaps you're on this video and you don't know what Upwork is. Upwork is a very popular freelancing platform where people and companies can actually go post gigs and freelancers can bid on those gigs and then get paid. Now, the number one reason why I personally don't like Upwork is because of the stiff competition that is on there. Here's the deal. A lot of people are doing the same thing that you're doing, offering the same service that you're offering, whether that's writing or social media management, web design, whatnot. There are thousands of freelancers just like you on the platform. And another thing that happens on Upwork is that based on how long you've been on the platform and how many jobs you have and how many ratings you have, you tend to get recommended more to the client and so if for instance you, and you really have to see this from the perspective of the company or the person that is posting gigs on upwork so let's take this for instance if i was the individual that needed some freelancers and i went on upwork to post a gig and then a hundred people applied right how would i filter through i'd probably filter through by looking at the people that have had the most jobs because the number of jobs or number of gigs that you've gotten on the platform is visible to the people that are trying to to hire you to do some freelance work there also there's also a rating system a rating and review system and so i look for the people that probably have the most ratings or the most positive ratings and i would filter it that way because basically i want to get the most for my money and so i'm choosing the people that have proven that they are worth working with now i'm not saying that you're not worth working with when you're a newbie but to be honest if you put yourself in the shoes of the person that's hiring it's less likely for you to score that gig unless you have a super convincing proposal that stands out from the rest but you know usually that's not the situation and so what ends up happening is that your application or your bid for a particular freelance gig gets pushed down to the bottom with thousands and thousands of other um, applications or applicants that are bidding for the same gig. So stiff competition is one of the reasons why I personally do not recommend a platform like Upwork, especially since I know that there are other things that you could do as a new freelancer, as a new freelance writer to get clients that has no competition whatsoever. For instance, you can use a platform like LinkedIn. If you optimize your profile correctly on LinkedIn as a freelancer, you can have people chasing after you who are willing to pay your prices and who are not just looking for the highest rated freelancer. In this video right here, I talk about five things that you can tweak and fix on your LinkedIn profile so that you can stand out as a freelancer. Make sure to check out that video if you want to have want to have people coming to you to hire you as a freelancer instead of competing with hundreds of people on a platform like Upwork for the same gig. The second thing is that Upwork really is structured and targets people that post on the platform. So they're targeting the companies and the individuals that will spend thousands or even millions of dollars on the platform to hire freelancers. So they put those people's interests at the top, not necessarily the freelancers or the freelancers come secondary to that. They're really, really making sure that the people that are paying them the money or paying the freelancers the money, which also ends up being Upwork's money, um, are getting the best experience and so if and which they should because as a business you should make sure that your prime customers are getting a prime experience and what does that mean again 
Prime experience means that I'm going to push forward those freelancers that already have higher ratings or already have multiple gigs. And so these jobs may get suggested to these people. People could reach out to these freelancers who have already established and distinguished themselves on the Upwork platform. And you as a newbie freelancer get lost in the mix because Upwork doesn't necessarily prioritize you. Yes, they give you lots of tips. There's there a lot of useful things that you can do to, to increase your visibility on the platform. But really, to be honest, that time that you spend optimizing your profile on Upwork, trying to get to the level where you have multiple ratings could be better spent, better spent, trust me on this, on perfecting your pitches, finding people online who already obviously need your services and then pitching those people directly rather than waiting for a third party to recommend you or highly recommend you to people that will pay you. Number three reason I don't recommend Upwork is something I saw recently called trending skills on Upwork's website. Now, Upwork has top skills and trending skills. Now, top skills are the skills that people typically come to Upwork for, which would be something like freelance writing, copywriting, uh, social media management, these like real old school, but still relevant freelancing opportunities. Those are top skills. And so, yes, it's possible for you to get on there and, you know, start building a freelance writing career or whatever freelancing career that you're building. However, more recently, I saw that in, in, the, in the bottom of their website, they have something known as trending skills. And these trending skills include things like Apple UI Kit, Blockchain, GitLab, React.js, Oculus Rift. So essentially, if you are in any of these trending skills, you, you know, you have skills in any of those trending categories, then it's very likely that you can get an Upwork right now and it's going to work out really, really well for you because these are skills that people are basically their hotcakes right now. And so if you're able to prove to people that you can do this, you're most likely going to get a freelance gig. However, if you compare that with the top skills, these are skills that are tried and true, have been there for a long time, and people have, there are thousands of people who have taken over or saturated or dominated in these niches already, and so it's going to be much more difficult for you to rise up in that top skills category. However, if you are in the trending skills, which all, most of them actually tend to be tech-driven skills, if you don't have those skills, that means, again, it's going to be an upward hill battle. Is that how you say it? An uphill battle when it comes to actually landing gigs on Upwork. Another thing about Upwork is that you need connects in order to put bids on gigs to even apply, just apply for it, not getting it, but applying for it. You need these currency on Upwork known as Connect. So what happens on Upwork is that when you go put in a gig, they will charge you some of those Connects. If you have Upwork's free and basic plan, then you're going to pay 15 cents per Connect in order to bid on a freelancing gig. If you have their paid plan, which is $14.99 a month, then you get 70 connects. 70 connects come with that particular plan and you can use that throughout the month to apply for freelancing gigs. If you don't use all your connects in a given month, those would roll over into the next month up to 140 connects. So you can accumulate up to 140 connects in like rollover, rollover connects, right? Again, you're paying to apply for a job and I'm not saying that you shouldn't invest in your career. I really do believe in investing in your career. I really do believe that. I, I don't have nothing against that. But here you are paying for something that May, you know, you're brand new and so chances are you're going to get lost in the, you know, in the sea of applicants for the same position, the same position or the same freelancing gig. If you want your application for a gig or your bid for a gig to come up to the top, you have to spend extra connects to do that. 
and it just seems like okay it's a lot <laughs> you know and again your time could be better spent somewhere else 15 cents is not much but it does add up um and you know if you pay 14.99 a month again it's not so so much it's actually really reasonable because with one or two gigs you could make that money back super super quick but again it just seems like with all the competition on the platform with so many people that are j qualified you know just like you and you know what you may you may even have better skills than some of the people that are on there that by virtue of them being on there longer have more jobs and have more ratings so again comes back to my <laughs> to my point that you, ha you you can better spend your time elsewhere trying to get these clients rather than you know paying 15 cents a connect and and using your connect and you know you may or may not get anything out of that number five reason is the fact that upwork will take a cut of your money now again upwork has to make their money they are a business i don't have anything against upwork personally it's just the whole idea of using it as a newbie freelancer to get clients i feel is unfair to you as a freelancer which is why i made this video so they take a cut of the money that you make now i remember i don't know how much they take now because it's been a really long time since i actually worked on upwork but back when i was on upwork i think it was about 15 percent so let's say you made a thousand dollars from a gig you did all the work and then upwork takes 150 dollars you know so then you get 850 now granted that's not a bad deal because without the platform you wouldn't have gotten the gig so it's kind of like a referral fee for getting you the gig but again you could go apply for your own gigs find your own gigs and then keep all the money yourself so probably you've listened to everything I said and you're thinking okay so what else can I do G I really want to build a freelance career what else can I do again I'm not saying that you shouldn't try, at least try on Upwork, but I'm just saying that your time could be better spent on some other things that have a higher return. One of those things is building a LinkedIn profile that is attractive and that is optimized to get you gigs. I personally have gotten paid thousands of dollars just based on my LinkedIn profile alone. So when I tell you that LinkedIn works, I mean LinkedIn works. Check out this video if you want to get more tips about LinkedIn and optimizing your profile. I did this video on five things that you can do to optimize your LinkedIn profile for more opportunities. Number two, I recommend that you go on Google for my freelance writers out there, okay? Because I mostly talk about freelance writing on this channel. Go on google.com and actually put in the Google search bar, write for us plus paid plus niche. All right, write for us plus paid plus niche. So let's say you wanna write in the tech industry, write for us plus paid plus tech, or write for us plus paid plus tech industry, healthcare, whatever you niche you wanna write in, add that to that search term. You're going to have thousands, if not, millions but at least a few thousand websites that come up that have write for us pages and the beautiful thing about these websites is that they will tell you exactly how to pitch them which is a plus right because sometimes you don't even know how to pitch but they'll tell you exactly what how to pitch them what ideas to pitch them and even how much they pay and so you know this off the bat you're not competing with hundreds of other people and it's likely that you might get a yes, right? A third thing you can do as a freelance writer is to check out a publication known as Writer's Market. Writer's Market is a publication that comes out every single year. It's about $30 and it has a few hundred publications that actually will take your writing. And these publications will pay you anywhere between 50 and sometimes $1,000 or even more to write articles from for them and you know you you just need maybe four or five of these places to say yes to you for you to make a steady income and again very low competition because it's not thousands of people bidding on the same gig 
for you know low pay typically but it's quality publications who have been you know documented to pay writers and the the beautiful thing with writers markets is that they could pay you over and over again with all of these actually is that you could get recurring clients from these opportunities whereas on upwork the opportunity may come once and then you have to keep on putting on putting in bids all the time in order to get gigs anyway that's my take on upwork if you have a different opinion to mine please share in the comments below i'd like to hear your opinions these are my opinions i'd like to hear your opinions if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed make sure to smash that subscribe button